Hello it's Linda here and today I have got another quick tutorial for you and it's on how to make this cute little box um, and this box is just the perfect size for small cosmetic type gifts like um, lipsticks, lip, um, lip balms, nail varnishes, anything small like that. So in here I have got a lip balm just to show you. Okay, So you can really make a small gift look quite special by um, boxing them up in something a little like this and also they're not going to know what's inside when they look at the shape of that are they so it's going to be a nice little surprise whatever so anyway I think these are great little boxes um, I've seen them around on Pinterest and um, they're just really nice and easy to do and, and this box was made using the scalloped tag topper punch okay so got this lovely decorative top here when we punch out our um, cardstock and it just makes a perfect top for this little faceted box okay so my box is two inches wide this area here is two inches wide so this is perfect for this project okay so anyway what I'm going to do is put this aside now and I'm going to show you how you can put one of these together so thanks very much for coming along and joining me here today Okay, so your designer series paper or your cardstock, if you're working in card, needs to measure four and a half inches by six and three quarters. And on the short side, you're going to score, and I'm going to be scoring on the side that I want to show. Okay, so this is going to be this, the outside of my box. So I'm scoring at two inches. And at four. And then you're going to flip it round and on the long side you're going to score at one inch. Okay. So now I'm turning it again because and I'm turning it so that it's very difficult to see actually. That half inch margin which we scored over here at four inches, that's now coming over here. Okay, and we've got that one inch score line that we've just made, that's up here at the top. Okay, so you've got your one inch margin here. So what you need to do is go in at one and a half inches and score down to this score line. And then you're going to score here at three and a half inches down to that score line. Okay. Okay, so now what you need to do is fold along that score line there and you'll note I'm not using a bone folder because I don't want to crack this paper. Okay, so now it's at this point I'm going to bring in my scallop tag topper punch. Okay, and I'm going to flip it this way. This area here is two inches wide. Okay, so the width of my box is two inches wide. So I'm pushing my paper through here lining up on this side here okay, with the margin of my card. So I'm butting that up there and punching. So you're left with that. So now what you want to do is you want to, if I reverse it this side, you want to cut away on the slant and you need to cut away quite a lot actually because if you don't the fold that you make here and the excess cardstock that is left here is going to interfere with the faceted um, score lines that we make here when you actually put the box together. So my advice here is to just cut quite a steep amount of away. So you're kind of cutting like a really quite a large wedge there but that will really assist in helping your box go together much easier. And you can see the bottom here of this. And what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to bring back in my scoreboard because you do need to put a score line in here. So I'm popping this in here 
and at the bottom there, just at the top there where we cut away, I'm going to score like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. So just scoring along there, at the bottom there of that curve. Okay, so now we've done that, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut down here just to the top of that score line. Okay. So now we've done that, we have got some more scoring to do and it's at this point that you're going to need to grab yourself a ruler. Now it's a bit difficult to see but what you're doing is you're, you're going to be scoring from this corner and here down to the centre here. So if we just cut up these score lines that we made like that. And I'm going to flip that one out of the way so you can see that more easily. So um, what you need to do is score from this corner here down to that centre point there. I'm going to do it a couple of times. And then you're going back up from this point to that outer corner there. And I'm going to do the same on this one. So I'm just going to actually we can get rid of this as well. So now what I'm going to do is flip that one out of the way. It just helps you to see that centre point. And I'm going to go from that corner down to this centre point here. And from the very edge here, back down. Okay. So now what you need to do is you need to fold on those diagonal score lines. So let's just gently fold all the way down. You want these to be nice and accurate. Okay, so we've got that. It's a, a little tricky. Probably best to start from this end, I think. Yeah, start from that end. side there that we scored or we burn no we scored and I'm just going to burnish with my finger like that so I'm going to be adding some double sided tape here over and sticking that down okay so just going to get the base stuck down So that's that. 
and so this just pops open okay and you've got this section here um, I'm just going to bend that on those score lines just to define it a little bit better there we go um, so now what you need is a piece a decorative panel so what I've got here is some glimmer paper okay so I've cut it to fit this area here so this piece here measures four and three eighths by one and three quarters and at the very top in the center you want to mark at seven eighths of an inch and then you just want to draw yourself a line from each corner up to that seven eighth of an inch point there and you will end up with this okay so what I'm going to do now is take some glue and get that stuck down so just take a little time here lining it up so it's nice and straight in line with these score lines okay we'll leave that to dry some excess glue there okay. so that's now looking like that so whilst that's drying I'm going to rub this glue off my fingers and I've got here some pretty ribbon okay so I'm just going to tie a bow muck all over my fingers now So I've got gluey, inky fingers where I've been messing around in my craft room. <laughs> so just straighten that. Got myself a really large glue dot here. That's probably far too big. I'm just going to stick that on the back. and pop that in the centre there like that and I think I will trim my ribbon a bit more it's a bit too long and there you just have a really really sweet little box perfect for small cosmetic gifts such as lip balms I have also found that little jars or little bottles of nail polish fit in here perfectly okay um, and you need it that long really because of the, the capacity of the box where it narrows when it gets to about this point here so my bottles probably about that high okay but it's just a stunning shape box I think and I think it's great that you can use this in order to make one of these so I think everybody needs the old scallop tag topper punch and if you haven't got one you need to go and buy one and you need to buy it from me anyway popping that to one side just want to say thank you very much for coming along and joining me today and I will be back with another tutorial for you very shortly so bye for now